Hello everybody, and in today's video, we're going to cover and test the new Unify 6 Long Range Access Point. This is Ubiquiti's recent and one of their more powerful 4x4 access points. If you want to see how this compares to a Unify 6 Lite, and whether or not it's worth the extra money, then stick around for the rest of this video. And of course, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe and hit that notifications icon as it does help support the channel. I did a recent video on the Unify 6 Lite access point, and I was really impressed with the performance increase over the Wi-Fi 5 AC Pro version. At the time I did the video, the LR version wasn't available, so when it became available, I couldn't wait to get my hands on this version and really compare it to the Wi-Fi 6 Lite. So with that said, let's take a quick look at the hardware and see what we got, and then we'll do some quick testing. The package is extremely well done, and it looks like they've taken some lessons from Apple in terms of presentation. As for mounting, they've included a variety of, of mounting options, such as ceiling and wall anchors, T-bar clips. It comes with a ceiling or wall mount plate that has a variety of pre-made holes, allowing you to easily replace a current Unify AP without redrilling, as well as support a variety of different mounting options. On the back, there's a removable grommet, and underneath the grommet is a PoE RJ45 port where you can supply data as well as power the unit. The unit can be powered with a PoE Plus switch or injector or a 48 volt passive PoE injector. The max power consumption of the device is 16.5 watts. This is a 4x4 MIMO unit. The one thing I did want to point out is that the LR device is pretty large. As you can see from the video, the LR is significantly larger. It's also quite a bit heavier than the light. To test the differences between a Unify 6 light and the long range, I created an AP test 5 GHz wireless network that only contained these two access points. This way I could isolate the traffic to only these two devices and avoid traffic from my other wireless networks. In addition, to properly isolate each of the two access points one at a time, I disabled each device when it was not being tested. This gives me a true picture of each device's performance without any other traffic. To start with, all the settings from both access points are right out of the box. I ran a fresh test on the Unify 6 Lite to establish the baseline performance. By running both speedtest.net and iperf, we can give a good blend of testing and since I've been using the Unify 6 Lite for a while now, I know that it can come close to maxing out my internet connection. So by running iperf, it rounds out the testing just to make sure that my internet speed is not the limiting factor. So if we look at the first test results, we can see that the bandwidth test shows an increase in performance, though the increase is not as significant as I saw coming from the AC Pro Wi-Fi 5 version to the Unify 6 Lite. Moving on to iPerf, we see a larger gap between the light and the LR. Though the LR is showing me the best Wi-Fi performance I've seen to date, it's not getting anywhere near the published speed, which I suspect is true in most access points and is heavily influenced by your environment. To make sure that this was not due to the adapter card itself, I did try several Wi-Fi PCI adapter cards and got pretty much the same results. I think if I spent some time tweaking some of the settings, I could get better. But for this video, I just wanted to see the difference in the performance out of the box. One last thing to consider before you run off and buy one of these is the number of devices you'll be running. Though Ubiquiti states in their documentation that each of these access points will support up to 300 devices, in the real world, these two devices would not work the same if that many devices were attached. In my opinion, which one of these you select may largely depend on the number and the type of devices you're running. Remember that both of these support multi-user MIMO, so theoretically the 4x4 would provide more bandwidth for more devices as long as the devices also supported multi-user MIMO. As new devices come out, they most likely will support multi-user MIMO, so getting a 3x3 or a 4x4 like this one may provide more future-proofing. In my opinion, if you're only going to get one access point and you have a medium to a larger home, then I would go for the LR or wait for the Pro version, which will be the 3x3. To summarize, the Unify 6 Long Range Access Point is one of the best and fastest units I've seen today. I didn't really expect much of a performance increase as both are Wi-Fi 6, 
but I was pleasantly surprised that there was a significant gain even under single client testing. I certainly look forward to testing this more when I attach the rest of my devices and really put it through its paces and see how it holds up over the long run. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications so you'll be notified of future content and it really does help support the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.